Hey, what's good everybody? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another video. Uh, this is the mail week, about a week and a half worth of stuff. Um, I'm just gonna go through and show you guys what I've been picking up lately. Um, I've mainly been focusing almost 100% on serial numbered or really short print cards um, for the most part. So, or just other cards I'm just trying to fulfill you know, look, working on trying to get a rainbow of a certain player. And uh, so we'll start with that. But um, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. It'd be great if you enjoy the content. I do a lot of mail, you know, what I'm picking up. Why, why I'm picking these players up. Um, and generally if I have them in a card saver, type semi-rigid holder. I'm going to submit them to get graded at some point. So let's start it out. All right. So I picked up a first one first is so Kevin Porter Jr. This is this year's Prism Tiger Stripe. So this is actually the first Tiger Stripe I've actually picked up and I like it for Kevin Porter, especially with when he was with the Cavs, it matches his team colors, you know, orange and black, red. Looks good. Um, it's a really sharp looking card. I really dig it. And it looks, you know, condition wise, it looks pretty, pretty damn good. So I'll probably send this in for like a custom uh, label, um, probably HGA. I'm still waiting on my uh, revolution card grading submission to come back which i'm sure there'll be a nice long lengthy video about that whole situation when it does arrive so anyways um they've been putting out some pretty cool looking custom labels as well lately but hga so far i've been really happy with with what i'm seeing from those guys so got this one and this one came out in the choice uh, boxes I, I just picked it off of ebay uh, next one here is uh, Kevin Porter Jr. Red, and this one's out of 88. This is also a choice from those boxes, so you can see the circles in them. Um, Kevin Porter Jr., I've been kind of picking him up since, um, you know, one, well, last year a little bit because I thought he was, you know, got some really good raw talent. And now I think he's going to be, him and Christian Wood, I think, are going to be like the one-two punch at the Houston Rockets next year. And I'm predicting that Christian Wood's gonna be an all-star without a doubt, um, as long as he stays healthy. And um, Kevin Porter Jr. is gonna be a huge supporting role in, in that team. Um, this one here is, a, is an orange out of 60. So, and again, I like this uh, team color stuff here, this uh, orange wave one. Uh, Kevin Herter, I'm sure, you know, I've, he had a really, really good playoffs for the most part. He's young, this only is his uh, third year in the league, I think. So this is numbered out of eight, it's his green choice. So I picked that up, decent price. Um, I got a Giannis Blue Wave, this isn't numbered. But these aren't easy to find. Um, and I don't know if it's, you know, the way Prism is releasing stuff. I don't know if this comes out of a specific hobby box or Target exclusive or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but these are like the first, just starting to see these blue wave ones starting to, to show up. So, but man, these things look so cool under different lighting. Otherwise, you just kind of see the lines going straight up and down, but it really has a nice wave to it, actually. So I got that. Um, Christian Wood Red out of $2.99. Christian Wood Blue out of $1.99. And of course, you guys know I'm a Christian Wood Nut. Um, this is his Disco out of $1.75 Blue. Here's a Red. 
out of 125. Um, I got a blue ice finally. These are starting to pop on eBay. This is out of 125. Actually, I just got a red one too off of eBay today that I ordered. Um, I got a couple more orange, which these look really nice. They're really nicely centered. Uh, these are out of 49. Got two of those. Uh, I got a Mojo, really good deal on this one. Um, this one's out of 25. I picked up another white sparkle. It's off centered, uh, pushed to the right quite a bit actually. So, you know, it's not gonna get a 10, that's for sure. It'll probably get a nine though. I think everything else on it is pretty good. Like the corners and the edges and surface and everything. Um, it's just the centering that's off. So as long as it gets like a nine or an eight and a half on a uh, centering, I think it'll, it'll get a nine spot. Um, got a couple, so first round ticket and a playoff ticket. Um, playoff is out of 249 and then the first round is out of 149. Um, here's a rated rookie, a really nice one that I picked up. Um, definitely gonna send this one in to get it graded. It's a, it's a PSA 10 candidate for sure. It really comes down to who am I gonna send this stuff off to, you know? I don't wanna pay too much to get it graded, but I also wanna try to have these things back by the all-star break next year because that's when I think there's a, going to be a big potential to sell Christian Wood cards. This is going to be right leading up to the All-Star game. Um, Dennis Rodman, red out of 299. Uh, Dennis Rodman, blue out of 199. Uh, here's a Dennis Rodman green pulsar. This thing's sick. Uh, this is out of 25. But somebody posted it on eBay for like. I think it was like 40 bucks or something or 60 or something like that. And I just snagged it. Um, Glenn Rice, rookie sensation, 90 Fleer. Um, I'll just look through these. I, I actually bought some packs of uh, um, Series 2 tops. I think it was a mega box or something from target but I got this cool trout card um I got a Louis Robert I think this is a short print I'm not sure I got this really cool Bowman um chrome refractor Robert pulled a Shane Bieber auto which is pretty sick looks cool um this King Griffey Jr. card looks great I got a Bryce Hart, Purper, Chrome, uh, Jazz Chisholm, Rookie, with the old, um, what the hell, what year is this supposed to be? Can't remember the year that that, that, that border and everything where Tops came out, and then this is his real card for this year. I just hate these. They can't, you can really see the names on these things. This one here is just a hollow with uh, Brian Hayes, rookie. And um, let's see what else I got here. Got stacks of some more Christian Wood stuff. So this stuff here, um, I haven't really gone through it with the microscope yet, but um, conference finals this is out of 75. Um, I got a Noir Christian Wood out of, out of 99. Most of these are off of breaks or I just pick them up for pretty, pretty damn cheap actually. Um, this one's out of 60, impeccable. Get two of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five Christian Wood rated rookies. Um, there's a little 
things wrong with all of these, like mainly on the corners, but nothing too bad. Um, this one's out of 25. It's like a lime green, gold kind of color. Donruss. Um, purple ice out of 175. Here's a Kevin Porter Ruby Wave. Not numbered. Colin Sexton Silver. I uh, had him in a break, so that's why I got that one. Uh, picked up this Chris Weber and Anthony Hardaway Bowman's Best Refractor. Looks pretty good. Uh, Dennis Rodman, Cru Excalibur, Crusade, Purple. It's about a 60. But also impressed with the uh, the one I got back from HGA, the red and gold one on a different different um, year. It looks amazing. So I picked up a couple more of these. I want to send them in and see what else comes back. So uh, this one reds out of 149. Um, here's a Fearless I got off a of break. These are cool too. Not numbered, but they look badass. Uh, Rodman. Ruby Wave. I got a Rodman uh, Jam City. Looks really nice. Not really nicely centered all the way around. Um, picked up this uh, Rockstar. It's not the hollow refractor version, but it's kind of got that sheen to it. Um, looks pretty good. And then I got three of these um, finest. I'm going to peel the uh, the film off and send them in probably they're all centered really really nice so took a gamble on those and then I also got another Rodman uh, honor roll refractor with Arvita Sabonis it's not the best centered one in the world but uh, it looks pretty good And then I finish this up with some uh, John Collins. Um, picked this whole lot up here. There were six silvers and uh, this purple cracked ice, which is out of 149. And this choice red out of 88, which looks great. That uh, team colors on it. Really digging that. It's gonna be interesting to see what's happening. He had a pretty good series um, against the Bucks. You know, in the playoffs and everything, the Bucks definitely, uh, the Hawks are definitely going to be a lot better next year. But he's a kind of a restricted free agent this year, so it's going to be really interesting to see what he gets for a contract, sign and trade, or whatever happens there. So watch out for your John Collins collection. Might catch fire here at, in the off season. Um, picked up this Prism Mint Nine Silver. Looks good. I picked up this Mint 9 Fast Break Auto. Uh, just the card is uh, graded, the, auto, the autograph is not. Which is a sticker auto, so. Um, I picked up this Dennis Rodman Hot Numbers. 9.5 Beckett got a good deal on it and um, you know it's a 9.5 Beckett it doesn't have subgrades on it but it looks really nice and then I've been picking up some 92-93 Upper Deck Michael Jordan uh, cards graded one specifically um, they're really cheap you know, under $40 and under graded. Um, I actually just made a mistake on this and just hit buy by mistake. I think I paid $35 for it or something because of the gym. But anyways, it's a 10 in their case. It looks good, you know. And I just love the picture. Um, it's a great photo of Jordan dunking it. You know, and the placement of that light right by the ball um, just really makes it 
just looked like such a amazing shot. You know, he's the only one in the picture. There's nobody else around him. You know, mid-flight, ready to hammer it home. Just a perfect picture. And then the back is great too because it's got him fading away. You know, signature jump shot, nobody in the way. Perfect picture of him. Gooseneck, fade away. Uh, very under underrated card here. Love it. So I got that gem. I got a 9.5 SGC. Sorry about that. And then a 9 uh, upper deck PSA. Definitely off centered, so that's why that thing got a 9, most likely. So that's all we got for this one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, appreciate you guys checking it out. Again, subscribe if you have not yet. Uh, more mail days and submission videos and things like that coming across soon. Um, make sure you have comment. Let me know what you guys think um, about some of these pickups and these players. And what you know, what do you think about Christian Wood and John Collins? You know, what do you think he's going to happen to him? this off season, you know, are the, Sun, are the Hawks going to try to keep him or are they going to let somebody come in and, and take him? Cause I could see him moving on to some contender like uh, Miami or the Lakers or the Clippers or somebody like that. So you know, it should be interesting. And then, you know, getting into these nineties junk wax a little bit, just because of, I'm just collecting cards based on the, the ones that I like. And, this is one of those cards that I've always loved from Jordan's um, pictures anyways. So again, appreciate it. Hit that bell and uh, you'll be notified of new content when I drop them and we'll see you later.